Angelo here. Welcome to my channel, and welcome back to my stream. So, guys, uh, I had a question in chat about Salah. Heist League. Well, not Heist League. Betrayal League. So, here is my quick, short, confusing, hopefully not so confusing, but just enough confusion explanation of what <laughs> the investigation board is. Enjoy, guys. So, what this whole thing is, all these people are just to find this one person right here. This is the supposed mastermind that, uh, if you don't remember, every time you kill these guys, they get another star next to their name. You see how, like, I've killed Hillock twice now, so now he's at a two star. And based by killing them, it makes them rise to the rankings up top here. Basically, like, these guys are the lobies and the lackeys, so you're basically Batman. That's what you're doing here. And then from being Batman, you go up here, and then you find out who the next sergeant of this mafioso gang is. And then after you, you kill off these guys who keep getting resurrected by this person, then as they keep coming back, they try to kill you again. So that's a great way of reusing assets. But <laughs> in a way, this is how you do it by keeping them in the game by saying they're resurrected. And they talk shit to you too. It's like, you killed me last time. You're a bitch, yada, 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 yada. So then after you kill these guys enough times, you get to this guy, but basically by the bar. So by getting this guy, you'll kill off whoever. Let's say all four of these guys are in the thing. And you kill all of them. Stab, stab, stab. They all go to two star. And then there's one guy left. Hillock. And you go to Hillock and you go like, oh, you want to die too? He's like, nah, man. We cool. We friends. We chill. And then he's like, I'll spill the beans. I'll tell you all everything I know about this guy, this sergeant. So then you'll get the information. You don't kill him or you imprison him and you get information regardless. And that's what that slow little bar is. So basically then you get information about this safe house. And there's four safe houses as you can see. There's the transportation, which... Um, you also get crafting recipes when you do these save houses. This is for weapons, fortification, for armor, uh, research I think is for flasks, and intervention I think is something else. But it's something along those lines, or gems maybe, I, I can't remember. Um, and then basically from there, <clears throat> you learn enough about this person, and these by doing these four, you get collective information about the head honcho. And since you don't know who the head honcho is, after you get enough information, do and you can do this multiple times, and then once you take this person, you'll always imprison this person. When you imprison this person, you get 20 information about this one. And I want to say it's like either 80 or 100, so you need to do all four of these one time, and maybe then some, or, you know, just keep doing the same thing over and over again. Whenever you imprison this person, the sergeant, the next uh, second in command takes over. So whoever this person is, this person will take over their spot, and then that person will end up here in jail. And then when they're in jail, that's when they sit and wait, and then you so on and so forth. Some people never finish this, because if you finish this, it wipes clean everything here. Now, I believe they said they addressed something and they made it so I, I forgot what they were saying about it, but yeah, that's overall how it is. And after you beat this person, you get all sorts of goodies, and you get access to all four of these, depending on the level of the people that you have here, and... I believe you do fight all of these. You fight every single person when you get to the end. Unless if you exile, because you can exile some of these. Which, I, I don't know if they come back during that time. They don't come back? So, alright, they don't come back if you kick them out of the syndicate. So, aside from that, that is the long short of how the investigation for... This is Betrayal League? Yeah. So, as you can see, there you go. Kind of tells you... All it is right there. And then, oh yeah, and then if, if you help, like, obviously these guys want to save their own skin, so you can bargain with them. But if you bargain, sometimes they'll do it and they'll knock this guy's uh, uh, rank to nothing. And he'll take all that guy's ranks and things like that. See, so, as I said, sergeant, oh, lieutenant. So now, so now I got Hillock at a lieutenant. And then when they get to a three star, they can get to, uh, oh, wow, I can zoom in. So yeah, so you see how Hillock right there? He's a two star. So he's a lieutenant. And then... Obviously, they all have unique items. See, so... It'd be nice if you can actually get some of those items. That'd be kind of cool. But yeah, you can't, but... Yeah. There you go. Long, short of it. And right now, you can kind of see the relationships. So, most of these guys are, are green, good, red. There's no reds, but yeah. It, it can take a while, but if, if you just run through maps and just kill them and just keep on going through like bargain, bargain, kill, 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 it's not too long. It's just getting all the missions. That's the hardest part. But yeah, there you guys go. Didn't actually think I would do my little 
explanation of uh, how betrayal works, but hopefully it was just confusing enough to not be confusing. So, there you guys go. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys out there. Later. Freeze! Who are you? What are you doing here? Hold your fire! I'm a human!